Hi everyone and welcome to my place. Today it's all about crafts for young girls and I've come up with such a cool and groovy way of producing a really, really lovely glitzy ring. Let me just tell you what you need. You need some either gold or silver spray paint. You also need a ring base, so there's my little ring base. You need some nail polish, some E6000 glue, well, if you've got something else that's better, like some super glue, that would be better because I'm a little bit iffy about the dangers, uh, health dangers um, associated with the old E6000. So remember, if you are using it, make sure that your environment is well ventilated, wear gloves and wear a mask just to make sure that you're going to be safe. You also need a little bit of wire and I'm just, I've got a silver ring base here so I'm using some silver um, wire. Please don't tell my husband but it's his really good sterling silver wire but I'm only using a little bit so you need about 12 or 16 inches length of um, the wire. Right, so one, and you need a stone. Now, this stone that I'm using here, we've got it everywhere in New Zealand. It's volcanic stone. It's called um, scoria, but any kind of a stone would do for what we're going to do today. So once you've decided whether you want a silver or a gold one, take your stones outside, put them onto a piece of card, give them a good couple of myths mists of your silver or your gold, uh, put a fine mist over it and let it dry, turn the stone over, do another couple of sprays and or mist it across and to get mine I did two to three coats. Like once you get to that and it's been dried and you're quite satisfied with it, you can either use some glittery nail polish which is just a matter of just putting a little bit of that on over the surface of your ring, just hit it with little highlights here and there will do. If you wanted to, whatever, whatever you want to do. But I quite liked it with just a little bit of the glitter in the, the nail polish there, just to give a little bit more high last, a bit of luster. Now then you need to fix your stone onto the ring base here. Um, you, you Well, it, you don't really need to put the glue onto it because I have worked out that it does stay. Right, from there the next thing to do is to get your wire and the great thing about these is that they've got, I need my glasses because I can't see. The great thing is here that these little, the little ring base has got some little holes in it so you can actually stick your wire through that to start with and then bring that across to there and then just give that a little twist there and then it's just a matter of twisting the wire over the stone like so to have it firmly fix onto the ring base. And if you are using the, the glue, make sure that you let it firmly fix overnight before you go any further. And taking that across there, well you can see what I'm doing here, it's just a matter of winding that across the whole stone until you actually, where's my one that I've done, until the whole outside of the stone has been covered in the wire and then just fixing that firmly and just pushing the wire back up underneath. And then what I did was, oh I love this bit the best, getting a satay stick which I've got here and what I did was use the tiniest, tiniest little, oh, get that out of there, and get this here. I've just used some gem bond glue and it's just a matter of putting a little bit of glue onto the stone. I'll use the stone here. Just a little bit of glue onto there like so and then getting a little gem. Yes I've got these little Swarovski crystals. Just picking one of those up and onto and then just putting, fixing that onto there like that. Now, to do this, what I've done here is I've just used a satay stick and I've just put a little bit of wax on the end of that and formed that into a little ball. And what that does is, it means that when you're picking those little gems up, it's just a matter of picking, it'll stick quite nicely onto, into the wax there so that you can easily lift and position that down. So easy. And just, once you've done that, just leave that for it to dry 
And these are some of the ones that I've made. And I've given these to the little girls that I do ballet with, and they absolutely love and adore them. Easy, easy project. And you see I've got the Wieserowski crystal in there, just a little bit of added sparkle. And just using, you can either, well, I found that by using the silver and then putting the silver over the top with the gold was a really lovely interplay of light. And um, I love the two textures of the gold and the silver together. I love those little bits of nail polish in there and that little, as I said, that little Swarovski crystal. Easy, easy projects for little girls to make and they will absolutely love it. And I think it's quite a nice fashion piece for even big girls like myself. Hope you've enjoyed that. Really easy, simple, inexpensive craft that I know lots of people will enjoy doing, especially, as I said, the wee girls. Hope you've enjoyed that. I will see you another day. Thank you.